Hi, I'm Bill, and this is In the Library. Today, we delve into some of the history of North America. We'll be taking a look at American Colonies, The Settling of North America by Alan Taylor. So, let's turn some pages. Now, take note that I did not say America the country, but North America the continent. For the purposes of the book, Taylor describes Amer North America as what's now Canada, the United States, Mexico, and the Caribbean and Hawaiian Islands. Right off the bat, this is one thing I like about the book. I've read a lot about U.S. history, but not much about how the French and the Spanish or even the Russian influenced the settling of the continent. In fact, if you know of any books focusing on these things, please let me know in the comments. And while you're there, please like and subscribe. All of this is free to do. But before we get to the Europeans and the Russians, let's go all the way back to 13,000 BC when the first natives arrived here and started settling up their own societies including the invention of horticulture. By the end of the 477 page book, we've worked our way up to the early 1800s. Along the way, we learn a lot about the relationships among the European countries as they fight for space and supremacy in the New World and their relationships with the native people. For example, the French, right from the start, treated the native peoples as partners, not as enemies, as the English had, for the most part. This book also gives us a lot of information on the internal politics of the motherlands and their relationships with the respective colonies. For instance, at one point the English king revoked all New England and New York charters and took direct control of them under what he called the Dominion. As a New Englander myself, I don't remember learning about this previously at all. Needless to say, it did not work out too well. The French and the Spanish, of course, had their own problems. And as we all know, eventually the US, Canada, and Mexico became the dominant countries on the continent. There is so much information packed into this book, I can't possibly talk about it all here. Everything from religion to politics to race relations and slavery and foreign relations. The settling of North America was a complicated system of countries, including for a brief time the Netherlands, i.e. New York, all jockeying for position. The Russians, all told, probably had the easiest time of it as they came across the Bering Strait and settled the Aleutian Islands working their way into Alaska. With Alaska being so far north and remote, everyone just kind of ignored them. Having said that, it is a well-researched, well-written read. Taylor really brings us into the life and times of the various peoples involved in the settling of our continent from the food to the practice of war, of which there was much. I'm actually going to be going through the bibliography to see what other books I can find on these subjects. If you have any in mind, again, please let me know in the comments. All in all, this was another good read and another good book. So that's it for this episode. Thank you as always for watching and please keep on reading.